Hi everyone, it's Molly and I'm excited because one of my goals um, this year was to share more about essential oils. So if you're totally not interested, I will see you later. But if you are interested in essential oils, hang around. Um, I'm going to be talking about one oil today and I'm going to post these videos from time to time when I'm inspired and I just pulled an oil at random and I'm gonna give you a couple pieces of like when I have an oil in hand and I want to incorporate it more where I get my information things like that so the first one I pulled which is so appropriate for me today because I literally use this this morning and I used it in the yoga class that I just taught is Clary Sage so here's what it looks like purple very soothing. Um, and this blend from doTERRA, it's called Clary Calm. I know my uh, high tech camera doesn't focus, so um, I'll post photos of that in the comments. So anyway, Clary Sage. So going back for just a second. So pause here. Um, emotions can be affected by essential oils. Um, and I know there's People are like, oh my God, how can an oil affect my mood? But have you ever smelled something, anything, like maybe like a car like burning out its tires and you smell that and you're like, takes you back to this moment in time when something happened to you that was traumatic or um, not awesome and you were like, whoa, deja vu or whoa, um, that makes me feel a certain way. So the way these pathways work in our brain, this, that smell, the sense of smell is super powerful. It can go across the blood brain barrier um, very quickly and efficiently. Um, and there's pieces of our brain without getting into much of anatomy and physiology, um, pieces of our brain that are extremely affected by smell um, in the hippocampus and they send messages once a smell comes in they send messages to the rest of the body so things like clary sage which is known for its super calming effects um, when you smell it whether from a diffuser or you put it on your body um, a smell comes in through your nose and it sends calming uh, vibes <laughs> for lack of a better word to your body and in particular, Clary Sage, this is why I love it. Um, ladies, I'm talking to you on this one. Men, not that it's not good for you, but this is really, um, like my little flashcards say, um, I love these little flashcards. Uh, they call this oil, it's that time of the month oil. For real, uh, when you're having your period and your emotions seem to be all over the place, it always takes my husband um, by surprise. He's always like, wait, what is going on? I'm like, I don't know. Um, it's in those moments when I take my little Clary Sage, Clary Calm, I go sit in a corner by myself uh, if I don't have time for a nap and <laughs> put it on the back of my neck. Sometimes I'll put it directly on my pelvis area, on my skin and rub it in. It can help with um, cramps and tension and anger and just really diffuse all those things. Like um, I think of it like, you know, if your mom or a parent or a loved one ever rubbed your back when you were a kid, like, oh, it's okay. That's like what Clary Sage does for me, for real. Um, so that's like the main property of Clary Sage that I absolutely love. A really uplifting recipe for your diffuser. So diffusing oils is one way um, to get them in terms of, um, you can either put them on your skin, you can ingest some of them if they're approved for ingestion, or you can diffuse it. And I have, I'm in my little doTERRA master lab in my office. I have like all my tools for mixing here. And I have three diffusers in here because I just love them. And not that I, anyway, that's a side note. Diffuser recipe. So you take two drops of clary sage and to do drops, you take the lid off and you just hold it like this. And some of the oils come out really fast, like citrus oils. Some of the oils come out mildly fast. Some come out super slow. So you just hold it to the side with the cap off um, and it'll drop out. I didn't know that when I first got into oils. I was like trying to shake them. No need to be violent, just a gentle tilt. Um, two drops of clary sage two drops of grapefruit, and four drops of lime. And you can double that recipe or triple that recipe, depending on your needs. And it's um, the clary sage is that he more heavy, herbaceous, like, mmm, it smells so good. It's hearty. It sticks around. Um, but the citrus oils are uplifting. That's the job of a citrus oil. And uh, just kind of lifts the mood. So clarifying is the word that comes to mind. And I absolutely love that recipe. So one other place that I get my information, my flashcards, diffuser recipes mostly found on Pinterest, is this book. It's called um, Emotions and Essential Oils. 
And just like anything, like, you know, some people smell something and they're like, oh my God, that makes me angry. And other people are like, oh, that makes me feel so good. Not, this is not a one size fits all thing with essential oils. So it may make me feel really good. It might not make you feel that way. Um, but I love reading this book because it kind of gives us a little bit of insight into what emotional things um, this oil could trigger. So they call it the oil of clarity and vision always a good thing. It assists individuals in changing their uh, perceptions. So I don't know if you ever need your perspective flipped on something. Um, so it's great combined with inversions, maybe not during your period, but anyway, it gives courage to see the truth. One of the finest oils for the brow chakra, which is a yoga term for your intuition, your third eye, um, clary sage dispels darkness and illusion, helping a person to see their limiting belief systems. So those moments when you're like, oh, I can never do this. Who am I to teach this or do this business or like go out on a limb, try something new. Like, oh, I suck. Everybody else is doing better. Like limiting, limiting. Put on the clary sage, open up the truth and just see that you are awesome just the way you are. And I will full on admit that clary calm, let's blend is always in my toolbox. I always carry this one with me just because it works that well for me. Um, and I absolutely love it. So and it also helps opening creative channels. So if you think about, you know, it's opening the truth, it's helping you to be your true self, which is our job here on the planet is to be more like ourselves. That's why I'm doing these crazy weird videos. Um, and so Clary Sage is a tool that can help us with that. 